Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a JavaScript project on the topic interactive map. Let's see the requirements. First, we require an IDE for running and compiling the source code. Second, we leave require a text editor where we are going to write our text or the code. You may use any text editor, but I have used your VS code. Thirdly, I have used an operating system. Again, you can use any operating system, but I have used your Windows 10. This project is based on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The requirement analysis includes the index.html file, a script file. Actually, here there will be no requirement of CSS, but I have added style.css because if you want to style, then you may. Then we have used some .png files for images. Now we'll move to the code and I'll show you what's the code link. So starting again from the index.html, we have the doc type HTML. Header HTML head. The title is leaflet cluster. I have uh, used here leaflet cluster because this is a cluster of different uh, leaf. Uh, you can call the cluster of different items. There's a, in a map which interacts with you, which shows you the different uh, airports. Here we have basically specified the airports. Then we have the content time data here. The content will be text or HTML. Then we have linked. First, we have linked it to the style sheet. I provided the href, the link, then the integrity link has been provided and the cross origin is anonymous. Again, I have linked another style sheet with another leaflet, another integrity and some cross origin. Again, I have leaflet another link. Then we have linked three script tags with different source files, different integrity and the cross origin remains as anonymous. Then in the body, we have the leaflet cluster example. Uh, the paragraph shows this is an interactive map indicating where airports and train stations are located around the world. The uh, data comes from, there will be a data from, there will be a link. There is a link from where I have taken the data because I go, I can't go and type each and every airport details, right? So we basically use a reference from where we get and the target will be black. Then we have the ID map and we have the style factors, the width, height, border, etc. has been mentioned. Then uh, there will be a reference provided to you that how to use this because this is an interactive map. You may not be able to uh, understand and use certain functionalities. For your reference, we have given there will be a GitHub link through which you can go and you can see the some YouTube YouTube tutorials through which you can get to know how to use this project. But do not worry. As we proceed, I will show you the live demonstration of this project. So you may not be very confused at the end of this project. So be very patient. And be very clear that you're going to understand the project tidbits. Just be with me. Then from the article, you're going to get these markers. There will be certain pin. When you're using Google Map, you will be seeing that you are here. There will be a pin location. There will be a pin on your point, your location. And you have that certainty that your current position is marked by a pin on the map. So this is what we're going to do here. Then this is basically the updated leaflet. And what the script, the source has been linked to the scripts. So I have not used any CSS here because I do not understand any requirement. I did not find the requirement of CSS very useful here. But you may use to make it look much better. I have done this to make you understand the basics. But again, it depends on if you want to style it. If you want to put more features on this, then you are most welcome. Then let's go to the leaf demo. So here what we have done is we have had the variable name map, then the pointer, the center, the initial thing from where we are starting is the coordinates 10 and 5. Then the minimum zoom ratio is 2 and the standard zoom ratio is 2. Then we have provided some attribution, some, some domains like ABC, like the map is divided into certain domains. You will see when I show you the live implementation, you will understand what is that, does this mean. Then when you're going to select a particular place, that place will be zoomed. That place will be again verified or that place will be again modified. It will show you the inside. Means when you're going to click on a particular place, na, then the particular place will get expanded and you will get the information about that place. So again, when you click on another subset of that place, then again that place will be expanded and you will go inside. So basically from a large domain, you're going to a mini miniaturized version. Then 
<clears throat> the images uh, there will be certain i have two pen images i'll show you the png images then here we have this thing called the marker clusters where we are going to break like uh, we are going to have a certain break point in certain markers like uh, the areas the uh, markers positions etc so let's see here this is the pin image that i was talking about see cool then this is another pin image then the markers the markers are the all the ports the train stations and the airports that we have on the map so this has all been taken from a resource you can see it's a very 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 long list covering the whole world the name the city the uh, the uh, latitude the longitude the alternative the place from where we belong everything is mentioned here so this is a very 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 long list this has been copied straight from internet these are the markers so now we'll move to the actual implementation just have a look I'll refresh it for you. See what I was talking about. Like I want to go to India. So click on 18. See this is what? If I want to click have a look at this 6. What is this? I went to Sri Lanka. Then again see. This is my area. I want this area. See it's written. The Polar Grand Reservoir. Kanji Sri Lanka. The altitude, time zone etc. has been mentioned. This is the zoom factor. I am zooming out. See, I'm zooming out. Now, what I'll do, I'll let's say I'll have Bangalore. I'll have the number two. I'll have this location. It's Bangalore and the altitude, the time zone is Asia, Calcutta. Everything is mentioned. Again, I'll zoom out. I'm in India. Yes, I'm in India. Let me see this area. I'll have Katak. So it's Bhubaneswar, then the altitude and time zone is mentioned. Then uh, I'll have, these are basically the divided zones. Again, I'll have 118. Let's see. Uh, what I'll have, I'll have this area again. Then we'll have Patna Singh. In Patna, we'll have Jamshedpur. Let's say Jamshedpur, it's Asia Calcutta time zone. So, and see, this how to use this link has been there from the article. This is there. If you click on this, you'll, you'll be driven towards that, the article. See, we'll be proceeding towards the article from where we'll get more information about the maps. This is the article that opened. And uh, this is a time zone. This is uh, from where the data we have found out. So, I hope you understood the working of this project. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.